Lesson 43, Fully Insured. In this text, we'll talk about a strange insurance. First, listen to the text and try to answer this question. Who owned the pie dish and why? 这个下饼盘子是谁的？为什么 ？Insurance companies are normally willing to insure anything. Insuring public or private property is a standard practice in most countries in the world. If, however, you were holding an open-air garden party or a fete, it would be equally possible to insure yourself in the event of bad weather. Needless to say, the bigger the risk an insurance company takes, the higher the premium you will have to pay. It is not uncommon to hear that a shipping company has made a claim for the cost of salvaging a sunken ship, but the claim made by a local authority to recover the cost of salvaging a sunken pie dish must surely be unique. Admittedly, it was an unusual pie dish, for it was eighteen feet long and six feet wide. It had been purchased by a local authority. So that an enormous pie could be baked for an annual fair, the pie committee decided that the best way to transport the dish would be by canal, so they insured it for the trip. Shortly after it was launched, the pie committee went to a local inn to celebrate. At the same time, a number of teenagers climbed onto the dish and held a little party of their own. Dancing proved to be more than the dish could bear, for during the party it capsized and sank in seven feet of water. The pie committee telephoned a local garage owner, who arrived in a recovery truck to salvage the pie dish. Shivering in their wet clothes, the teenagers looked on while three men dived repeatedly into the water to locate the dish. They had little difficulty in finding it. But hauling it out of the water proved to be a serious problem. The sides of the dish were so smooth that it was almost impossible to attach hawsers and chains to the rim without damaging it. Eventually, chains were fixed to one end of the dish, and a powerful winch was put into operation. The dish rose to the surface and was gently drawn towards the canal bank. For one agonizing moment, the dish was perched precariously on the bank of the canal, but it suddenly overbalanced and slid back into the water. The men were now obliged to try once more. This time, they fixed heavy metal clamps to both sides of the dish so that they could fasten the chains. The dish now had to be lifted vertically. Because one edge was resting against the side of the canal, the winch was again put into operation, and one of the men started up the truck. Several minutes later, the dish was successfully hauled above the surface of the water. Water streamed in torrents over its sides with such force that it set up a huge wave in the canal. There was a danger that the wave would rebound off the other side of the bank and send the dish plunging into the water again. By working at tremendous speed, the men managed to get the dish onto dry land before the wave returned. So, who owned the pie dish? Right, the dish was owned by a local authority, who had bought it in order to bake an enormous pie for the annual fair. This text starts with an introduction to insurance. So long as you pay the premium, you can insure anything. Some insurances are common practice, but some can be quite strange. For example, to insure the cost of salvaging a sunken pie dish. Then the text tells us about the pie dish. It was made for a big pie baked for an annual fair. It sank in water because of children's little party, and it was salvaged with a lot of efforts. It failed for the first time, but the second time, before there was danger of it being washed back into the water again, 
it was finally salvaged. Okay, now let's look at some language points in the text. A standard practice means a common practice or a normal practice. I'll give you more examples of how to use standard. Standard procedure, 正常程序. Standard pronunciation, 标准发音. Practice here means the way of doing things. It often is described with these adjectives. Common practice, or general practice, or normal practice. Look at this example. It is common practice for the husband to stay at home to look after the baby in some countries. 在有一些国家, to ensure yourself in the event of bad weather, in the event of is a written form of saying if something happens. For example, Britain agreed to support the U.S. in the event of war. 如果战争爆发,英国同意支持美国. The bigger the risk an insurance company takes, the higher the premium you will have to pay. 风险越大,付的保险费就越高. The 后边加上比较级, comparative degree, 可以表达, Look at this example. The longer he stays in the city, the more he hates it. 他在城市待的时间越长,就越不喜欢。英文中还有一个说法, The sooner, the better. 越快越好。Must surely be unique. Must be, 我们知道是表示猜测的, 中间加上一个surely, it means to show your guess is quite certain. For example, there must surely be some explanation. 一定可以有什么解释方式. Admittedly, it was an unusual pie dish. Admittedly means you accept something as true, even if sometimes you don't want. 必须承认, Look at one more example. The treatment is painful, admittedly, but it benefits the patient greatly. 虽然这种治疗非常痛苦, this is something that we must admit, but 它对病人很有好处。除了admittedly之外, Dived repeatedly. Repeatedly means many times. Look at this example. He has been repeatedly warned by the doctor to quit smoking. For example, hurriedly, 匆忙的, heatedly, 气氛非常热烈的. It had been purchased by a local authority. Purchase means buy, especially to buy something expensive, and it's more formal than buy. Look at this example. She purchased a new car with the money her parents gave her, means she bought a new car. To transport the dish, transport here is being used as a verb. We know that transport can also be used as a noun. For example, means of transport, 交通工具. Look at this example where transport is used as a verb. You'll be transported to the beach by coach. 你会被长途车送到海岸边. By canal, by 通常用来表达交通方式. For example, by train, or by plane, or by car. But here is to transport by canal, 通过运河走. It was launched. Launch means to send a ship into water, or 
to send a rocket into space. Launch 在这里是指下水，它可以指船下水或者发射到空间。For example, a test satellite was launched yesterday. 试验卫星昨天被发射。We'll look at these examples to see what launch means. You can launch a book or a new product. 意思是推出一本新书或者一种新的产品。Launch a campaign or launch an investigation. 发动一场运动，进行一次调查。The press launched a fierce attack on the president. 新闻界对总统发起了猛烈的进攻。Dancing proved to be more than the dish could bear. More than something can bear, it actually means it is something that the dish couldn't bear. Look at one more example. It's a nice dress, but it is more than I can afford. 意思其实是 I cannot afford it. 所以 more than 有时候可以表达否定的意思。Bear， 忍受。It means the same as stand or endure. But notice stand is more often used in spoken English, while endure is more often used in written English. Hauling it out of the water. Haul， 拉。Pull also means the same thing, but haul is to pull something heavy, especially with difficulty and slowly. For example, the fishermen were hauling in the nets. 渔夫在拉网 Chains were fixed to one end of the dish. Be fixed to, 固定在 For example, we fixed the shelves to the wall with screws. 我们用螺丝把架子在墙上固定住。But we can also use fix figuratively. For example, she became very restless and couldn't fix her thoughts on anything, which means she couldn't concentrate. Put into operation, 开始运行。Put into usually means to start a process. For example, put into action, 开始行动 put into effect, 生效 put into use, 实践 Look at this example. He always likes to put the things he has learned into practice. 他总是喜欢把学过的东西应用到实践中 The dish was gently drawn towards the canal bank. Draw also means pull, but it means to pull something gently, especially to some direction. Look at this example. She drew me aside to whisper in my ear. For one agonizing moment, agonize means make somebody painful, but here it means for one anxious moment. We'll compare the difference between the two examples. The pain was agonizing. 这里的意思是 the pain was extremely painful. She went through an agonizing week waiting for the results of the medical tests. This agonizing means the same as the agonizing in the text. 过了非常焦虑不安的一周，在等待体检的结果。The dish was perched on the bank. Perch on, or sometimes using the passive voice, be perched on, means be on the top of. For example, the village is perched on top of the hill. 这个村子在山顶上 Or, he perched on a bar stool and had a beer. 因为酒吧的凳子比较高，所以呢。Perched on, 其实就是表达 he sat on the bar stool. The dish was perched precariously. Precariously means dangerously, because the dish was not fixed. 
Look at this example. Her suitcase was precariously balanced on the tiny luggage rack above her head. 她的箱子在行李架上放得非常悬。Overbalanced means loose balance. Look at this example. Halfway along the wall, he overbalanced and fell. 在墙上走了一半路的时候，他失去平衡，摔了下来。They could fasten the chains. Fasten means to fix. For example, we often hear on the planes, "Make sure that your seat belt is securely fastened." 请保证把安全带系好。Someone has fastened a notice to my door. Fasten 在这里就是指粘在门上 Water streamed in torrents. Stream here means to pour or to flow. Look at this example. Tears streamed down her cheeks. 泪水从她的脸颊上流下 In torrents. It refers to the amount of water. For example, the rain came down in torrents. 大雨如注 Applications came in in torrents after the advertisement appeared on TV. 这个广告在电视上播出之后，申请滚滚而至 So here you can also use in torrents figuratively. There was a danger that the wave would rebound off the other side of the bank. Danger here means possibility. 有这种危险可能 For example, there is always the danger that things do not happen as we planned. The wave would rebound off the other side of the bank. It means the wave would come back or rush back from the other side of the bank. 从河的对岸再冲回来。Look at this example. The ball rebounded off the wall, and he caught it. 从墙上弹回来。Sent the dish plunging into the water again. Sent doing something usually refers to a strong force, which makes something move quickly. For example. The fan sent papers flying all over the room. 风扇把纸吹得满屋子在飞。这篇课文使用了几处双重否定。Let's look at these examples of double negatives. It is not uncommon to hear that a shipping company has made a claim for the cost of salvaging a sunken ship. It is not uncommon means. It's quite common. 这是最常见的一种双重否定 And we have further examples. The size of the dish was so smooth that it was almost impossible to attach horses and chains to the rim without damaging it. 这里 impossible 和 without， 它也是一种双重否定，表达的意思其实是 if。You try to attach horses and chains to the rim, you would surely damage it. Look at one more example. It seemed impossible that I could have satisfied her without offending the others. So actually, it means, if I try to satisfy her, I would surely offend the others. 我要是为了满足她的愿望，就要把其他人都惹恼。This text talks about a rather strange insurance, but insurance itself is no longer strange to us. 近年来，保险已经成为我们生活中很熟悉的事物了。出现了很多的保险公司和保险代理，英文中就是 insurance companies and insurance agents. 保险也有很多种类 ，such as life insurance or Health insurance, or car insurance, etc. You can have insurance on different things, against different unforeseeable circumstances. 注意这里的介词 
，对事情投保用 on， 防备各种不测用 against。Usually, you don't need to pay too much for the insurance premium. Insurance premium 就是保险费。Then, if anything happened, you can make the claim or claim for the damage to make up for the loss. And sometimes it is said you can even earn a little bit. But anyway, you need to make clear that you know the insurance policy clearly. Insurance policy 指的就是保险的协议 In a word, insurance business makes it possible for us to live a life feeling fully insured. Fully insured 是我们这篇课文的题目。它其实含有两层意思。一层呢 ，it is an insurance term. 全保险。On the other hand, it means the insurance business gives us a complete sense of security, 给我们的这种安全感。Right. So much on the topic of insurance. Bye for now.